right at the back, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the story. Yeah, Jamie, I think that's the story of the game. And I think the reason why that probably happened is I thought in the first half we really attacked things, you know, like we had an attacking mindset. And I think in the second half we maybe didn't, you know. Um, uh, yeah, it, it hurts a lot, eh, to be honest. Um, it's, uh, it's a game that we really wanted to win. I thought from an effort point of view, I actually thought the guys were excellent, you know. So it feels very different to last week where I didn't think the effort was there. Um, I thought, uh, um, yeah, things just didn't go away at the early part of that second half. And we, you know, we probably didn't concentrate as much as we should have. We're at the end of a eight-game block now, which we've, you know, we've had our travel to Africa and all sorts of things in between. Um, and because we had a, a buy in round two, I think we, you know we didn't have really a week off then either. So we've pretty much been going for ten weeks of the season, pretty much continuously. And I think part of it is just, you know, I think guys are pretty tired at the moment. It's not an excuse, but maybe that's why mentally I think we were just a bit slower than we needed to be, and we got caught on the hop on a few in a few moments. What are you most disappointed about the defeat? Uh, losing the game. Um, no, I mean, look, I mean, the reality is we did get a bonus point from it, which is good. I mean, it's, an, it's a conference game, and um, to come here and get a bonus point, we've, we've beaten the Brumbies and the Reds away, and we've beaten the Sunwolves, so um, we've taken points from all of our conference games, which has been important. Um, I think, uh, you know, uh, we lost Jack Maddox in the early part of the game. We obviously didn't have Dane or Gussie Cottrell. Um, and uh, and so I'm really proud of the boys. I thought I thought we played really well in that first half. I thought we squeezed them a lot. We, we were smart with the way we, had, we 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 applied pressure. The second second half, we just to be honest, just never got the ball because we were, were too ill-disciplined. Can you quibble with any of those, Dave? Like similar to the, the lines, I suppose, lots of penalties. Um, do you feel aggrieved about any of them? Yeah, I feel aggrieved about every penalty. Yeah, that's my nature. <laughs> but uh, I'll go and look at them again after. I mean, I don't I don't think I don't think really it was the referees. Is there Uh, no, I mean, I think, you know, that, you know, I don't, I don't know where we sit on the log now, but I think going into the game, we were second on the log or whatever, and the, other, the, the first most penalised team in the, in, the, in the comp is the Crusaders. So I think one of the things is we want to try to push the boundaries of how we're going to play, play with tempo. We want to we want to be super aggressive both sides of the ball. Sometimes you get that a little bit wrong. I mean, obviously, we we did that we did that tonight. Common team, like everyone, both sides wanted to play in the other team's half. Um, Doug's talking about just not attacking the game enough. Did you not strike that balance? <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, you know rugby's all about momentum, and you're never going to have 100% momentum in a rugby game. Um, the start of that second half, momentum was against us, and it's just your ability to be able to wear that down. Us uh, giving away back-to-back -back penalties um, doesn't exactly give us an opportunity to get back in the game. So um, I think that really hurt us. When did you feel the game slipping away? Um, I didn't really feel the game slipping away. I, I felt like uh, you know we were in there and being. Um, I just, I just think it was ill-discipline that just this um, gave them the window back into the game. They just chunked off penalty, penalty, and then a try, you know. So before you know it, the game's square. Um, so I think it just comes down to a little bit of discipline there, and just being smarter. Dave, Will and uh, Will and Quaid in your big game plays. Do you think they fared tonight? Uh, I think first half, especially, they really dominated the game. I thought they absolutely controlled the game. I thought that. They were smart. They uh, they won the activity cycles. They put the Waratahs under a little pressure. It's a difficult sort of game because it's very slippery out there. It's very dewy out there. So it's like, in a way, you don't want to be playing that much rugby. I just don't think that's smart. You know, like um, and I think um, uh, we did a good job of using our kicking game to apply some pressure to them. And then, uh, as I say, second half, you know, you just think of a restart. We've actually got them under a fair bit of pressure. We just give a penalty away there. They come down 60 metres. They haven't done anything. They haven't had to pass the ball at all. Um, and that's the sort of stuff that. Uh, that hurts, um, um, but as I say, I do I do feel different from uh, compared to how I felt last week. I think I think guys were really up for this. Um, I think uh, I think the effort was there. I think we got some things wrong. Dave, I think you said during the week that you kind of expected the Waratahs would probably get a lift out of the adversity that they've gone through um, over the past sort of week and a half. How, how do you think they they seem to cope without um, what's going on and without Israel? Um, well, I mean, the Waratahs well, Warrior still have, I don't know how many Wallabies they've got, you know, they've still got a lot of very good players there. I think if you look at the caps that they have in their backline and the experience that they have in the inside backs, like, they're a very, very experienced team. So, um, I guess their, their challenge might be how do they manage that long term, you know, like they've lost the, the leading try scorer in the history of the competition forever. Um, and uh, and how, they, how they manage that, you know, um, um, that's not my problem to solve, I guess. 
Yeah, I haven't seen Willie since he got back to the change room. I think um, he jagged his knee, he didn't, he didn't look too bad, but I'll, I'll have to find out when I go back. No, we're just a totally different team from last year. We're a much better team. We're a much better organisation. I think, uh, um, you know, two weeks ago we beat, we beat a team that pushed the Hurricanes very close last night, 42-12 or whatever it was, you know. So, um, um, and I thought we could have won today. I thought had we made one or two different decisions in the, in the, on the field, I thought we, we could have won. Um, but I think, uh, I think what we need to do is just get away from rugby for a little bit for a week or so and then we've got a nice block coming up where uh, we get to go again you know and we welcome guys like Dane and Jordan Elisi and uh, Gus Cottrell and a number of other guys back which is going to be exciting and uh, probably bring a bit of energy that we need now. Are they all back for the next time? Though? Yeah they should all be available for the Hurricanes. And Tom do you feel like um, the experiences last year taught you how to, how to be a front runner and you know, you'll be able to continue on throughout the season? Yeah, I think um, you know winning makes everything a lot easier, um, and we've had a good start to the year. Uh, also, bringing in a lot of experienced guys um, and having Dane lead the team around with the help of Willie and Quade has been great. So, um, yeah, taking a lot of confidence out of those guys, and they're really bringing a lot of the younger guys through and helping them understand what it takes to win every day at training and getting some results out there on the field has been great. Unfortunately, didn't get it tonight. Tom, there's a number of players wearing the rainbow laces um, this weekend. That's obviously probably your nod to supporting the gay community. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, uh, I'm an ambassador for um, the gay, gay rugby community down in rugby. Um, you know, I'm all for the game and its inclusion, so just a little bit of support behind them.